back with our movie critic, Jim Hunter. Why? Because he was here last week and we didn't finish <laughs> our discussion. So this is part two of an important topic. It's films, actors, and themes of Asian Americans and what a contribution they have made over the years. Yeah, so we're going to talk about, we talked about some Asian American right. cinema. Um, this is uh, AAPI Heritage Month. And so uh, now we can sort of dive in a little bit more to some uh, some other areas of that those groups of people that have not that weren't represented in the the previous segment. Um, so uh, I've got a bunch of films now. Can't I wait know to you dive do. into them. I know yeah. you do. So let's start with Minari. We were going to talk about that the other day. Yes, this is it. a brilliant film. It's my second favorite film of 2020. Um, it stars Stephen Yoon. It is about a Korean American family during the 1980s that pursues the American dream by uh, attempting to farm Korean vegetables in Arkansas. So you get this reaction to this Korean American family by the Americans who, who live there and um, some of the maybe ignorance uh, that they that they uh, treat this our, our main heroes with. Um, it's a great film, uh, really brilliant performances and I highly recommend Minari. It's, a, it's powerful and poignant to watch even the trailer right there. Yeah. The little child. So is that a true story, Jim? Was that based on a true story? Um, it feels like it. Yeah, like it's somewhat autobiographical, yeah. uh, but it is not particularly based upon um, actual events. No, it looks but there is some autobiograph uh, autobiographical elements from the director, Lee Isaac Chung. Okay, and so next on your list? <laughs> the next uh, is The Namesake. So this is an Indian film starring Cal Penn and Ifran Khan. Um, it's directed by Mianer and it's a uh, it's it's based upon a novel by Jhumpa Lahiri and it tells the story of uh, a second generation American uh, who has a traditional Indian family growing up and he's growing up in New York. So it is this sort of clash of cultures and he is sort of pursuing his heritage and trying to understand where he came from. This is a really good film it was it's sort of underseen and and so i it allows me the opportunity to highly recommend uh, the first film that I saw Cal Penn in. He later goes on to be Kumar, of course. Uh, but uh, it's, it's a brilliant film. Definitely recommended the name. It looks fascinating. And next, not uh, last but not least. This, this is The Whale Rider. This film is from New Zealand. It uh, follows a Maori, uh, a young Maori girl who um, is meant to be, she's destined to be the leader of her tribe, but uh, they have a tradition that the leader of their tribe has to be male. And so there is this sort of conflict between cultures and gender uh, gender roles. It's directed by Nikki Caro and stars Keisha Castle Hughes. Um, it's a, sort of a similar plot to Moana, but this is a little bit more deeper into Maori culture and uh, dealing with uh, dealing with sort of this, this clash of cultures and and um, what it, uh, what many critics say about this film, and what I say about this film as well, is that it's really uh, it's it's authentic, or attempts to be authentic to the culture that it represents. Which, in many cases, uh, some films fall short in, in being authentic to the cultures that they represent. Uh, the Whale Rider is not that; uh, it's sort of an exception to that rule. Well, listening to you talk, it just reminds me. I was thinking about this the other day. Of in my generation of growing up, up and watching movies, you typically didn't see the person of that culture or race playing a part. It was a white actor in whatever makeup to m m create that role. And uh, that's how we grew up. And to think of how that skews thinking and skews perception. Exactly. There's I mean, there's a long history of white actors playing Asian roles and 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 th thankfully that uh, that racist tradition is no longer uh, being continued in, in many of the films that are being uh, being produced today. Uh, the Whale Rider which came out in, in uh, 2002 is is sort of the beginning of that kind of authenticity. Well, um, is is 
just toward the beginning of, of um, that move toward authenticity. I love it. It's just important to see. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. For part two. There's time for part three. If you uh, want there to. are many <laughs> films to go through. I mean, even this is That's a short list. Uh, short list yeah. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.